All right guys, so if you are replacing your SRS module on your Tesla, on the Tesla website, there are instructions. So after you've um, put in your new SRS module, here are the in installation instructions. Basically, uh, I bought a new SRS module off of eBay. It's new, but it did not allow me to basically plug it in, plug and play, it didn't work. Um, so according to this, you're supposed to first update the firmware. So it says to reinstall the latest vehicle firmware or update the firmware if not the latest. So see firmware reinstall touchscreen or firmware update. And this says in toolbox three, click the actions tab and then type airbag config into the search field, click uh, click on that config airbag and then click run and allow the routine. And I'll show you in a sec what that looks like. And then in toolbox three, then you do another action called ESP config. Um, and then you run it and then sit in the driver's seat, step on the brake pedal to turn on the drive rail to cycle the power on the vehicle. Ensure that the airbag safety indicator light displays and then instrument cluster during the vehicle startup and then turn off after six seconds. Um, ensure the airbag indicator light displays on the instrument cluster during the vehicle startup and then, okay, yeah, so it's supposed to turn off after six seconds. So currently I'm doing the software update. Um, let's see if you can see that. Um, software updating. So, if you click on the next part where it says how do you uh, reinstall touch or firmware update, I uh, click firmware update. Come on, and it tells you how to update it. Uh, first thing you want to make sure the the uh, Tesla is hooked, to, hooked up to your um, Wi-Fi router at your house. If not, then maybe hook it up to your bluetooth on your phone i just did the wi-fi so just keep it simple connect your wi-fi to your tesla for the update and you got to make sure your battery is uh good to go on that uh, if your battery is low highly recommend you would connect some sort of a power supply that is appropriate for for i i was able to just use a regular jumpers for my regular 12 volt onto my 16 volt and did not hurt it but to each his own all right so then it says verify that the orange down arrow in the upper right corner of the vehicle blah 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 um i'll show you a video of that later so let me go to toolbox and show you what you're going to click on uh, when you go to toolbox eventually you're gonna go to um all these different buttons on top here. You want to, you first want to connect to your car. So connect to vehicle. And then it should be all green here. Uh, and then click, uh, you know, connect or reconnect. I'm not going to do that now because I'm updating my software. And then you want to go to uh, Can Explorer. And then from Can Explorer, you have three options here you have the system. And basically what that means is like, you got the model, the system, task type, clear all, um, you can clear all. Up here you can do search. If you want to type in the actual search thing that they, that they talked about earlier, you can actually type in, um, what it was, it was saying type in, uh, what was it? Now let me go back to the other screen. It says type in, um, uh, this thing here, type ESP config. Um, basically, to make it simple, what you do is you go here where it says model, you can type in model three, model Y, uh, or you could just click on the um, system and then scroll down. And then where it says safety restraint, that's the SRS, click on that. And as you can tell, let's see if I can, as you can tell, basically it has these three options. It has 
This one, restraint control module, beginning of line factory default configuration. The RSM must be configured and afterwards. If you can hear all that clunking, that's the software updating. Um, and then the next part is restraint control module, configuration, beginning of line configuration. That's the next one. And then the one after that, you want to go with RSM airbag and sensor service tasks. So for example, if I, if I click on this, it brings up this window, then I want to click run. And then after it runs, basically, it'll give you the thumbs up, it'll be green, or it'll be an X for like, that's showing that it doesn't work. All right, well, let's just try to reset it using toolbox. I already tried it earlier with the old firmware. So again, we're gonna go back to this, click on restraint module, configure it afterwards, run it. Let's see what happens. It's running, it says past. Oh, it turned yellow, no way. Oh, it turned red. It's never done yellow before, so that's different. And it looks like it goes one to the left and one to the right. So I wonder if those are the two sensors maybe that need to get replaced. Low voltage going, oh, I need to press the brake. Pressing the brake right now. Let's see if but you see the RSM slash SRS was red, and then for a second it actually so it says pass. Let's run it again. I'm pressing down my brake. Uh, it's running. So let's see if it turns. Ah. See the SRS module. Oh, so what is that? Unarmed, and then goes back to red. That's so strange. Okay, but that's that's something. So we got the first part, and it says passed. So you gotta close it. Then the next one you're supposed to do is the configure one. Click run. Running. Let's see if it does anything. It's yellow and red again. So it's there's something I want to say it's these two red wires because here it says parking brake function degraded. We don't care about that. Left headlight, sun plug. I don't care about that. Autopilot camera is unavailable. I don't care about that because the fender has a camera that's disconnected audio system okay come on it had this one thing it said uh oh, where was it that's weird it's not there anymore uh but it said something about those sensors so um let's close that and then the next part is um after you do this one here and then this one here. Uh, the, the only difference is this one says the RSM must be configured afterwards. So you do this one and then you configure it, the one that says configure it. And then the next one is service tasks. Let's run that, that has never worked. So let's see if that does anything. So it's running, let's see if it turns yellow. It's never done anything besides red ever. So let's see if that works with the new software. Let's see. If it, oh, that's new. It's yellow. Back to red though. Somewhere else signal. Restraint, oh, green? No way. It's all green? Yes.
Routine completed. First time. Okay, what? Don't. Don't turn red. It's all green. I think I got it. No way. Oh, I can't believe it.